information okay process data is known as information okay okay bayesian uh, bayesian decision theory bayesian okay there was a decision theory of bayesian it consists of two words or let's say yeah two words only what are the important two words of uh, bayesian theory bayesian decision theory one is payoff and second one is one is payoff right and second one is alternative course right payoff and alternative course i uh, told you at that time also that optimal is very good ganga ganga ram very good optimal in information that is all decision that was also an important point so there were three important words optimal then payoff and last one was that alternative right bayesian theory i had given you a specific description of that i told you that this will be asked in exam bayesian theory okay next let's do some revision and then we'll stop okay then we'll continue with our same topic but second part okay sample is a sub part of what <clears throat> sample is a sub part of what sample is a sub part of what who can give me sample yes very good rajasekhar sample is a sub part of population very good population okay population sample is a sub part of population sample will always be smaller than the population okay okay uh if some of the characteristic which cannot be expressed understand is huh? a characteristic which cannot be expressed in numbers is called as attribute or variate no uh, the characteristic which cannot be expressed in numbers is called as attribute or variate cannot be expressed is called as attribute always remember attribute cannot be expressed is called as attribute which can be expressed in numbers is called as variate okay got it chalo now let's start with today's topic then right so that's why why did i take this revision so that you revise the earlier lecture okay revise the earlier lecture don't just go forward check the earlier lectures also okay chalo let's start with the same topic here same topic is continued it is the second part of that lecture again okay? here also you will be facing some difficult uh, questions over here okay frequency what is frequency if the value of a variable occurs means it is a number of times the value of a variable occurs okay it's that simple now in your book it is given that occurs twice or more in a given series of observations then the number of occurrences is termed as frequency now in your book here it is mentioned that it is twice or more okay so if any anyone is having anything is having a occurrence of two or more then only it's called as frequency okay but sometimes we have the frequency one also so only for theory purpose you remember this twice or more okay otherwise you can have the frequency of one also next the way to represent uh, representing of representing a data in form of table consisting of values of the variable with the corresponding frequency is called as frequency distribution now what is frequency distribution it means how the frequencies are distributed how the frequencies are spread now more on this in this example let me show you this okay uh yeah let's come ahead to it one by one suppose let's say okay let me show you an example only for this frequency distribution suppose let's say i am having students in a class students okay oh red one sec 
let's say i'm having students in the class students okay and these are the marks or uh, yeah let's say a b and c three students and these are the marks marks right 20 20 and 30 so if i want what is the frequency of 20 so 20 is having two frequency so this is known as distribution how it is distributed it is distributed among two students 30 is in only one student so this is known as distribution we'll be solving a numerical separately at that time we'll be having better picture of this class boundaries inclusive classes can be converted to exclusive classes and the new in class intervals are called as class boundaries now what do you mean by inclusive and what do you mean by exclusive let's study that first inclusive class and exclusive class see this inclusive and exclusive what do you mean by this now this is something important from your exam point of view also okay because this will be asked in your exam inclusive and exclusive class let me see uh, let me see this this only are you able to see this this red are you able to see this or no i think so this is red that's why you might not be able to see this are you able to view this properly this red mark whatever is written over here no no yeah i felt so so look at this i'll uh, do it separately see this what is inclusive inclusive means inclusive suppose if i am having the groupings okay means of the marks like Fifth, let's say ten to fourteen. Okay, fifteen to nineteen. Look at this marks. Okay, twenty to twenty-four. Now look at this. What does it mean? Ten to fourteen means it includes ten. Includes ten. Include ten and fourteen also. So suppose if I am having some student who has got the marks as ten, where will that student go? That student will go in this. Suppose if some student is having the mark fourteen, then he'll go in this only. Suppose if some student is having the marks fifteen, then the student will go in this class. So this is known as inclusive. Inclusive means it includes first and the last. Includes first and the last. Okay, that is known as inclusive. Now what is exclusive then? exclusive means look at this exclusive this means look at this class now now look at this what is the difference between these two 10 to 14 what is the difference the difference is 5 you'll say how come 5 the difference is 5 by 14 minus 10 but that 10 is also included so both are to be included So that's why this ten will also be taken separately. What is the difference between this fifteen and nineteen? Again five. Again five. So here the difference is five completely. Okay. How come five? Because even all you start counting from ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So then it's five. Okay. Both are inclusive. Now let me show you exclusive. In exclusive what happens? What what will I do? This ten. What will I do? This ten. I'll this ten is over here, and fourteen is over here. So what will I do? I'll take point five over here. So it is nine point five, and I'll take point five over here. So it is fourteen point five. So this my class becomes nine point five to fourteen point five. Similarly, the second one, fifteen is what fourteen point five to nineteen point five. Then nineteen point five to twenty four point five. Now look at the difference again. The difference is again five. See this difference is not changing. This is five. This is five. Everywhere the difference is five only. Same as that of the above. only in exclusive what does it mean it means this is not included not included not included okay so these two are not included 
Now these two means what? It's not that both are not included. It's not that both. Suppose if some student has got the marks of fourteen point five, then where will that student go? Generally, say this: this is only numbers, natural numbers. So somebody has got a mark of fourteen, so that student will go in this area. Somebody has got a mark of fifteen, so he'll go in this area or this class. Okay. So this first and the last are not included in this uh, exclusive form. Now look at the important part in exam. In exam, for solving any numerical, you have to convert inclusive. You can't solve any numerical using inclusive. You have to convert this inclusive to exclusive. You have to convert it. Okay, so this is an important point while solving any numerical. That's why it's mentioned over here. See this. Inclusive classes are can be converted to exclusive classes, and the new intervals is called as a class boundary. Okay, so this fourteen point five, nineteen point five is a class boundary. Okay, now the same example is given over here. So let's skip this. Now what what is open end class interval? Open end and closed end. Again, you are having two things now. Open end cl closed means what? Now let's look at it again. Suppose if I am having Look at this class only. Suppose if I am having this table, below ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, thirty to forty, and above forty. Okay. So if I am having this class, let me make this correction over here. One sec. So this is thirty to forty, okay. Ten to twenty. Now look at it. So what does it mean? This class below ten, ten to twenty, and above forty. Now suppose if I am having some mark, if I consider these as mark as marks of the students, if I am having some mark of let's say fifty, where will that fifty boy sit? Below ten or above forty or where? So he'll sit over here fifty. Suppose if I'm having some student of mark seventy, so he'll also sit over here only. If I'm having some marks of two hundred, he'll also sit over here only. So this is a open sector, okay? Open interval, because here there's no closure. Similarly over here, somebody is having the mark of uh, only uh, let's say nine, so he'll sit over here two. Sit over here, zero. Sit over here. So there is no end to this. Suppose if there is a negative marking, somebody is having minus fifty. So that guy will also sit over here. So this is known as open ended, where either first or the last. Look at this. In open end class interval, either the lowest of the first class or the upper limit of the last class are missing. Either lowest or upper. Or both. See this. Both the words are also given. Both, either lower or upper or both. So suppose if I am having this interval up to year only. Let's say I am having less than ten, then ten to twenty. Okay. Now you tell me about this. Is this a open interval or is this a closed interval? Less than ten and ten to twenty. Is this a open interval or is this a Close interval. EVM badge. There is a division. This is the open interval. Open. Okay. What is the query? Let me see. Ah. Huh? Hmm. uh dhania what is your query uh i am waiting to join bfm class in the aim batch is there any division it's i really don't know yaar uh dhania i'll give you the admin numbers you can call them because i don't keep a track of these okay i'll give you the admin numbers call them ha huh? rahul app mein hamara audio ka feature kyun nahi hai even technical reasons i won't be able to answer rahul 
what i'll do is i'll give you the numbers of those guys because those are the right persons who can answer you isn't it hold on see this i'll give you the numbers you can call on these numbers see this admin numbers i have given are you able to see this in the pin comment i have given pin comment okay kindly call on these numbers in the pin comment got it uh, rahul you also and uh, danya you also okay call on these numbers chalo next one okay so open ended you got it now similarly once you understand open ended then it's easy to understand close ended isn't it what is there in close ended then once you understand this open close means what then close means it will be simple closed what is closed closed only let's say 10 to 20 20 to 30 this is a closed why because there are only two areas let's say there are only two classes in this or two uh, this limits in this so this is the closed because nothing is open on this side and this side also okay relative frequency frequency upon total frequency into 100 relative frequency okay this is the formula percentage frequency class frequency upon total frequency into 100 these questions you get it in exam for numericals frequency density frequency density of a class interval is equal to class frequency upon width of the class okay class frequency upon width of the class okay so suppose if i ask you um mm, suppose there are 10 days okay let me get some numerical today tomorrow i'll ask you this numerical i'm having this numerical frequency distribution is of two types discrete frequency distribution discrete means we have done this yesterday discrete means which can be counted distinct values 0 1 2 3 4 all which are separate discrete 10 mangoes they can be counted separately mangoes and second is continuous continuous means it is in limits intervals variables take values which are expressed in class intervals means what 10 to 20 20 to 30 these are continuous ones these are called as continuous okay which go on so marks obtained by 20 students in a exam for 50 marks are given below convert the data into continuous frequency distribution form so now this you have to convert it into continuous frequency distribution form so 20 students marks are given so how will you consider this how will you calculate this so first what you do you find out the lowest one which is the lowest one which is the lowest one over here lowest one is i think so over here 18 right 18 this is the lowest one which is the highest one 44 then 43 49 this is the highest one so once you get the lowest and the highest so right over here lowest low equals to 18 <coughs> okay high equals to high high equals to 49 so what do you take you take the round off for this 18 and 49 so you guys you start from here from 15 and you close here for 50 so in terms of 5 it becomes easier 15 to 50 suppose if this 18 wouldn't have been there then what was the lowest then you would have started it with i think so 23 then you would have suppose if let's say let me ask you a question now this is 18 and 49 that's why i started with 15 and 50 suppose if i am not having this 18 and 49 over here okay then what will be our upper and the lower limit suppose getting it suppose 18 and 49 are not there 18 and 49 then what will be our upper and the lower limit so lowest number is 25 23 then so 23 means what will you take as the lower limit 23 means what will you take as the lower limit you will take 20 and end with 45 right because 44 is the highest 
44 you are having highest right so 20 and 45 you will be having it right so this is the way we do uh, do this lower and upper limits got it now it's easy see here now it's very easy 15 to 20 see this again i have done it with the red ink let me do it with the yellow ink okay 15 to 20 let me write it over here 15 to 20 then what 20 to 25 then what it's so on let's go on and up to last one is 45 to 50 i can do it this way also this is one way of doing it second way of doing it is what for this 18 instead of having how many uh, this uh, intervals are there 4 and 4 8 are there so i can have only four intervals 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 And forty to fifty, over. Okay. Somebody can have some other interval also. Simple interval. Somebody can have ten to thirty. No. Ten to then it should be even some somewhere. Okay. Somebody can have it then zero uh, to thirty. And thirty to sixty. That's it. Only two intervals. Zero to thirty and thirty to sixty. Then also it's okay. So it depends on what is the accuracy you want. Okay. So classification is done over here. Convert into continuous frequency distribution table. So this is the continuous frequency distribution table. So you'll plot it over here. Okay. Let's plot it for this ten to twenty. Okay. So ten to twenty. How many are there between ten to twenty? Eighteen. Then what? Only eighteen. One is there, right? So one. So it is one over here, right? Twenty to thirty. How many are there? Twenty to thirty. Look at this. Twenty-three. Then twenty-eight, twenty-nine. One, two. I'll cut this. One, two, three, four. Then what? Five, six. Then what? Seven. Then eight. And nine, so nine are there, right? So in this we are having nine. Now thirty to forty. Thirty to forty is what? One. Let me round this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So five are there. Five. And last one is what? Forty to fifty. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, five. Right? So five are there. Five. Got it? So this is known as the frequency. Okay, this is known as the frequency. Now suppose if you do these calculations, relative frequency. So relative frequency is frequency upon total frequency. So what is my frequency over here? For suppose if I want to find the relative frequency. Okay, relative. So relative frequency will be. What is my total frequency? Total frequency is the total numbers. So nine plus ten is nineteen. Twenty numbers. Twenty is the total number, right? So relative frequency is one upon twenty. This uh, this is nine upon twenty. Five upon twenty. This is the relative frequency. Okay. Frequency upon total frequency, right? So this such numericals can be asked to an exam. Percentage frequency. So class frequency upon total frequency. Suppose if they ask you class fre percentage frequency of ten to twenty, so it is one upon twenty into hundred. Okay, one upon twenty into hundred. Got it? Represent the information given below with a suitable table. Fourteen hundred candidates were medically examined in a fitness test, out of which twenty-one percent were girls. From the doctor's report, it was found that three ninety-six female males and hundred and four females were unfit. Again, okay? were unfit. Forty of the remaining males and sixty percent of the remaining females were in good health. The rest were declared temporary temporarily unfit. 
now what you have to do is this will be a case study for you in exam for five marks and they will be asking you various questions on this so now what are the questions and how to present it into the data now let's look at it okay is there any this is again with the red mark okay let's do it with the yellow mark now what is it first two are there male and female right male and female okay what is given over here out of the 1400 candidates which total is 1400 that much you must know total is 1400 okay what is given about this 1400 21 percent were girls now 21 percent of 1400 are girls so what is the number of girls then 21 percent into 1400 right 1400 so what is the answer 21% into 1400 so get the answer everyone what is the answer for this 21% into 1400 what is the answer you are getting 294 okay 294 so 294 are girls so 294 over here so if this is 294 I will write 294 over here 294 and what is given fitness test out of which 21 percent were girls okay so 294 and what is the remaining figure then remaining figure is 1400 minus this so i'll write 1400 over here also so it is 1106 right subtraction will give me a 10 6 then 9 0 and it's correct so it is 1106 right so first level you have crossed this is crossing the levels okay first level you have crossed second from the doctor's report it was found that 396 males and 104 females were unfit now write unfit who is un what is the unfit level unfit directly numbers are given how many are unfit 396 and 104 so 396 over here and 104 over here right 396 and 104 females were unfit now what is the remaining one then so this is if these are unfit then the remaining calculate the remaining ones remaining what is the answer for the remaining 6 minus 0 this 9 1 this 11 10 7 1 0 710 7 1 0 and what is the answer for this uh, subtraction 190 right so it is 190 so remaining is 190 what is given about them now, them now about the remaining guys 40 percent of the remaining are males and 60 percent of the remaining what remaining males and 60 percent of the remaining females were in good health so 40 percent of males in good health 60 percent of females in good health so now let's calculate 40 percent see this 40 percent 40 percent and this is 60 percent right 60 percent right 40 and 60 so calculate this 40 percent of 710 so 40 percent of 710 is 40 percent of 710 and 60 percent of 190 so what is the answer 284 284 and what is the answer for this 60% what are you getting 114 okay so 60% are these so what are these these are in good health right are in good health so this is good health so these guys are in good health good health okay now last is given what the rest were declared as temporarily unfit so how many are temporarily unfit now temporarily unfit temporary unfit so what are the remaining ones then 284 this 710 minus 284 
710 minus 284. So, how many are temporary unfit? 426, right? 426. And this side is what? 76. 76. Okay. So, in exam, what will they do? They will give you this question. And then they will ask you certain questions, questions on this. This uh, the basic details will be given to you. Then they will be asking you. How many of the females are unfit? Or how many of the remaining uh, how many of the females are remaining after that unfit level? So that is 190. Or they'll ask you how many of the males are in good health? 284. How many of the females are temporary unfit? 76. So once you have this table clear, then the answer is very simple. Because this case study comes for five marks generally. And they'll distribute. They'll be distributing these five marks over here. Okay. Got it, everyone. Now let's look at it. Now this is. These are all uh, numericals. The data of some worker salary are given as twenty three hundred, twenty four hundred, blah blah blah. You can read this. If the desired class interval is ten, find the class width. Now, what is class interval? What what is class width? What is class interval and what is class width? Okay. So for this, what you have to do, you have to again go back to the basics. What is the maximum number? What is the minimum number? Minimum is what? Minimum. What is the minimum number? Twenty three, twenty four, twenty three. Two thousand. Two thousand is there a minimum number? Anyone lower than that? No. Two thousand. Two thousand. What is the maximum number? Max. Three thousand or anyone else? Three thousand, right? So three thousand. Now what is given? Minimum is two thousand. Maximum is three thousand. What is the number of class intervals required? Ten. So what does it mean? It means that you have to divide this gap into ten parts. So class width will be what? What is the class width? So whenever I divide this into ten parts, each gap is called as class width. See, two <coughs> thousand to three thousand. Okay. Now I have to divide this into ten gaps. Ten. So this. So each one, this part, this part, is known as class width, class width. Okay. So all these there will be ten total, right? So what will be the class width then? Class width is simple now. Once you understand the logic, then what? Class width equals to. See here, maximum minus minimum, max minus minimum. Okay, divided by number of class intervals. So three thousand minus two thousand upon ten. So it will be hundred, right? So answer is hundred. Class width is hundred. Got it? What is the class width? Hundred. Got it, everyone? Now let's solve the second one. The largest and the smaller smallest values of the data are 60 and 40 respectively. If the desired number of intervals is five, find the class width. Now this is the easiest one. You will solve it. You have to solve this personally. Okay. Four, four, isn't it simple? Sixty minus forty upon what is that? Five, na? Five. Okay. Next one. 
the class interval where the upper and the lower limits are also in the class interval are called as upper and the lower are also means they are included so it's called as inclusive exclusive discrete continuous